biggest breakthrough that really got me started was was realizing that things don't need to be perfect. Mm. They just need to go. There's so much value in acting on the inspiration of an idea and then filling in the pieces afterwards. Yeah. Because other, otherwise what happens, and, and I think this, particularly when I first started out, I'd have a great idea, but I'd hold on to it. Yeah. And so I'd never know if it was actually great out in the market because I just didn't, I wasn't getting the feedback. But as soon as I started to let ideas fly, I started to get feedback. I started to learn, oh, that was a good idea. That was a half good idea. Oh, that was a really good idea. Yeah. And I feel like it was that letting go, let the ideas fly, throw them, put them in the market, test, get feedback ear to the ground it's like sniff around like what what are people saying it was that um responsiveness that really helped me to figure my way through the maze of business in the early days the only time we fail is when we stop trying mm -hmm. like why are we innovating why we have our ear to the ground why we're allowing our business model to be shaped by the needs and desires of like successful companies solve problems for people and people pay to have problems solved mm -hmm. Does it really matter whether that problem looks like this or just slightly looks a bit different like that? Like you're fixing a problem that hopefully you're passionate about fixing and people want to pay for that. Yet if we're too stuck and too fixated on trying to prove ourselves right, we end up proving ourselves wrong or failing and failing to really innovate and grow a great company.